So I already installed the APK in my mobile. So you can see probably this is the APK. And now the first thing I want to show you that my network. Okay. So in my home, I, I have three different type of network. So my this device is connected with TP link. Okay. And my this device is basically connected with the deco. Okay. So it's currently running on the deco. So which is my another network okay so that is the main thing so if you want to test multiplayer actually a real dedicated multiplayer you have to use two different type of network so you can understand that okay is it working or not so because now i am in also in different network and my pc is in different network let me now open my game which is in an android and let me also open the game in my pc and let me just click the multiplayer and as we set up our blueprint so just simply multiplayer and we are in a session so at here at the same thing we will be going to click multiplayer and just wait some time and boom we are also in a session now now you will see that bro why are you this player i forget to set up the controller so i'm just keeping it something like that okay and let me just move our character to at here and you can see this to here okay so how the multiplayer is working you can probably see right now okay so we are in a basically in a session which is basically a simple multiplayer okay so in this way you can basically easily create the multiplayer server with our tds multiplayer plugin and multiplayer server so why are you waiting just <laughs> purchase right now okay so let me in the second part we are going to do the matchmake and etc find session stuff welcome back in tech dev studio and let me introduce our first online multiplayer plugin we also providing a dedicated server so you don't need to use any other third party provider okay our inbuilt plugin have the server and the all the matchmaking system logics as well it's going to support all android ios mac linux and windows okay so for buying this our service you can contact us in our comment box or you can comment as uh damn us in my discord okay so let's get start and about the server price uh you can discuss on our discord okay we'll provide you enough information okay so first for whenever you're creating a game you need to uh, keep it in mind multiplayer must need a source build engine why because by default whatever engine we install but from the epic marketplaces it doesn't have the server building config or server build tool so what does it need is whenever we create a multiplayer game it must need a server file so because the server doesn't run your full game server run a specific particular file with some command line that it's basically join your game your client with the server pc okay so for that case you need a source build engine for demonstrating i'm going to use the unreal engine 5.2 okay you can use any other engine as you want but make sure that is in a source build okay once you done the your source build i have also lots of tutorial if you're facing uh, any problem so you can check up them too okay so let's choose a third person and create a c++ project and i'm choosing a uh, location and i'm giving it name take dev studio multi then simply create the project now once it's creating you need to keep in mind that how it's going to be behave with the configuration because a c++ project must need uh, the visual studio so keep in mind that you create you install the visual studio and all the configuration okay once it's uh, loaded up you'll be see something like this okay kind of like your tool and everything it can be show this kind of like an error but you don't need to worry about this okay at this meanwhile we see that your project haven't opened yet or some of cases it may might be open automatically okay at this point what you can do you can basically go to your projects basically or wherever you make that something like this in my case in this folder and now you need to create a new folder called plugins okay there in this plugin you need to put our plugins what i'm going to provide you make sure uh for our server because it's not kind of like now a full you know kind of like a public so you are only going to uh giving some limited user of our tech dev studio families only so that's why uh 
we are going to provide you a particular plugin for everyone that's not going to conflict any other developer or game okay so once we provide you the plugin okay and you create a folder something like this called plugin you need to come in the plugins folder and paste this thing it's kind of like a third party but it's not third party it's our own uh, plugin called tds multiplayer you find something like this okay so once you have the plugin now you need to basically shut down your visual studio and now open it your file explorer and just press right mouse and click regenerated visual studio file because it's need to con understand and it's need to know that okay there's a plugin folder available so once you regenerate the project file it's going to be understand that okay there's a, some third party plugins available that you need to install okay once you install you can need to click open open with visual studio 2000 2022 once you open you will find something like this now here you need to do configuration just select here that your multi stuff and at here in the configuration you just set win uh, 64 and set it that windows uh, development editor now just simply give a build okay once you give a build depends on your project compilation and your you know your pc configuration you're going to be compile some file maybe we some of cases 20 file 30 file okay not too much so you don't need to worry about anything okay so once it's processing you need to keep it mind we need one more uh we need to do some edit okay so for that edit you need to install that node plus uh node plus c plus plus either you can use the vs code as well it's there's a no issue you can use any type of stuff but yeah once you compile successful make sure there should become zero fail zero update and zero skip okay make sure this skip can be uh, like 20 to 40 but don't make sure that you have zero failed and zero update okay once you did something like that now what you need to do you need to go to the source folder okay make sure this part is very important so just keep it mind do properly okay so you need to go to the source folder and here you find call uh take dev studio multi editor so in your case it's going to be uh similar whatever you give your project and i need to just simply duplicate it okay once you duplicate you need to go to rename and just remove this line of code and at here for the editor just write here that server okay because we need a server build so we need to keep uh, give that target cs so at here you need to go to edit with node c you can as i said you can open the vgl code or visual studio as well to edit this stuff or and any kind of like notepad okay that here you need to just change some line call the editor to server okay just change this word okay just remove the editor and just write here that server okay and here on the type of targeted editor also do the same thing called server okay and save it once you save it now come back and again just regenerate the project file because now you again make another file so you just did some changes so now unreal engine need to know that okay you did this change you need to understand this stuff okay now again open your visual studio 2020 or the, your the ide and now you need to again choose the development editor make sure that is in a win64 if you are using linux you can choose linux server but make sure i ah, should be choose that win64 now just give a rebuild okay you can give either build or rebuild it depends on you okay something like this once you have the successful now you need to go to the development server okay now choose the development server why because you know you need to compile your project for uh server as well so like that's why so build make sure that it shows something like that successful now you're ready to rock and roll with your project okay you can give couple of time the build to make 100 percent sure now you can close your id software and now you can open your basically your project file and please see that it will be going to be open without any error make sure it can be compiled shaders and everything so let's hold a seconds and then once the shader compiled done i'll show you okay so you can see the project is currently loaded fully now first you need to make sure is you need to go to the plugin sector go to the others and make sure that tds multiplayer plugin is enabled you'll be see something like this okay 
and once you install the plugin now you find some uh, couple of blueprint okay but first what we need is we need to set up couple of things as well in the project first you need a game map or your multiplayer map well so let's create a simple multiplayer map so this is our multiplayer map okay so double click and open it make sure every multiplayer game have two kind of like map one is your offline map or your lobby second is your gameplay map or a multiplayer map third it's going to be depends on you if you create any separate if i give you example of a pubg or like call of duty mobile you'll be see that every game have basically a waiting lobby where once you open your game you'll be see that your player there you can now choose math rather do settings change character stuff and everything okay then you click play and then it put you a lobby okay what which is basically called waiting lobby or a multiplayer map okay so we are that in the same map in the multiplayer let's create a simple landscape okay uh let's choose it uh four by four and I'm just simply creating with a simple landscape. I'm not going to be add anything extra. Okay, I'm going to do simple basic lighting by uh, lightning mixture. So I'm just simply adding them. So it's going to be automatically add everything for me. So I'm going to put the value to three. And this guy about the, I'm going to choose the real time. So it's going to give me real time. And now at here on the player basic, we need to add couple of player start location because this is mandatory okay make sure you add couple of uh, this kind of like stuff and for understanding why you are you can create something like some basic structure which is you can easily detect your player movement whether your player is moving or not okay so I just simply create some structure so I can understand that okay my player is moving or not so this is basically our multiplayer map okay now i have a question that bro what we need to set up in our game mode or anything okay so you need to keep in mind the multiplayer basically switch a player basically okay so rather you can create a separate bb for your multiplayer or you can rather uh, leave it empty you can use the default player what going to be select but in our case we are going to specify with uh with the third person one so it's going to be use the TDS uh, default game mode, which is basically Unreal Engine third person blueprint. And now let's create a simple UI that we need. Okay. So we need two kind of like a UI. One is to from our waiting lobby. So let's back to our map, which is basically our waiting lobby. We can call it as a waiting lobby because this is our single player one. And now let's create a folder or a simple UI okay I'm going to just put it as a UI lobby now double click and open it and let's add a simple canvas panel so the canvas panel is basically help us to you know design our stuff so let's add a button with a simple text okay and let's put something like this on the top down now we need to let's put it the name that multiplayer okay now if you want you can choose whether change the codes color and intc but i'm going to keep it something like this purple one okay now at here what we need we need one more thing in the event graph called get player controller and we are going to uh, show mouse cursor so set show mouse cursor now we have this thing and now we need to write going to write our first one once I provide you the plugin and your server once I say that okay your server is ready you can now write your first code called TDS and you find there's a couple of code available one is TDS multiplayer destroy match one is player let me first bring all of the code for you so you can understand or let me just play one by one this is tds multiplayer instance subsystem so you don't need to do anything with this so it's just configuration some system so you haven't don't need to use this one then you find if you once you search tds you find here the tds destroy match so this is basically allow you to destroy or the over the match all of the session so for example if you're 
if you're this map and you are in a match and you're this map have 50 players if you run this code so what will be happen you this whole section will be destroyed and the server will be down this session okay so that is the main thing then you find the ts call start match it's going to be start your multiplayer make sure there's a two kind of like one is start and one is start match both are different this tedious multiplayer start is going to be throw you on the multiplayer server okay basically it's going to be connect your game with the server so we need that at share kind of like that after that for creating you at this point automatically multiplayer will be start as a basic for example if you creating a game that it's don't need any advanced kind of like a session system so they are only once the player click on play multiplayer all the player will be in the same match doesn't matter there's a 2000 player or not everyone will be in the same map you can just run this line of function or a blueprint which is tds multiplayer start it's going to be start automatically once it start then you can rather do some more customization or there's a more couple of uh, blueprint available which is basically start match start match it's basically after that you join the multiplayer you can run this uh, blueprint so it's going to be create another specific match for you okay at here you can put your uh, session name for example match one okay uh, let me put something like this match one okay in the maximum players which is basically allow you that to set up basically how much player it's going to be content at that map okay so suppose you need only a seven player game okay like you're at that session only can go seven player maximum okay and after that done you can basically rather can get a output that whether it's successfully or not after that you find the last proof in code uh no not the last one but yeah then you find basically uh take leave uh leave from the match basically so this blueprint code allow you to basically take uh leave from the match which is basically for example specific suppose there's a three player kind of like this three guy and but only this only this guy want to leave from the game so by that blueprint code whenever you run that it's going to be basically remove that player from the session it will be um, in the offline one then you find call find join i guess where it is find and join session okay so i'm going to change it some more and customize it uh, i forget to add the tds uh, code okay so it's going to be work with that okay like i just uh, forget to give the uh, same name tds multiplayer so it's going to be work so here you find the find and join session it's going to be automatically make that system like you don't need to make the find logic than the session logic it's automatically whenever you're going to be run this thing it automatically going to be search session for you and it's going to be join automatically that session the available lobby for you okay at here you just need to put your player controller something like that okay oh not this one you need to get player controller okay something like this okay we kind of like have everything now once you think that you have done everything now what you need to do that we need to first spawn this ui so let's in this level let's begin play and create this ui create widget so we can write create widget and add to viewport so ui lobby and add to viewport kind of like that okay now whenever we will come play we found this multiplayer button so we can basically join now only the more two step is uh, left to do so just think that how much easy it's that you don't need to pull lots of server stuff and it is easy like you don't need to put lots of sdk stuff lots of code you know just simple there's just see that how much i easy i made this that just really very simple blueprint just couple of some blueprint and just just run it nothing else you just need to run that automatically after that it's going to be do everything okay so once you have this last thing now you need to send the server file to us like to our you can send us to me or our team whenever i put you the server say that okay your server is ready then once you think that your game is ready then what you need to do is you need to package it how you go and go to the platform then you need to go to 
projects launcher and at here at the project launcher you find here the show advanced click at here at the very end click here that windows server and at the data build you need to choose that book by uh, by the book now you need to just click simply the launch so as you can see start building the project okay so now you need to just wait some time so it's going to be compile everything so make sure it can be show you this that the TDS multiplayer doesn't list my uh, plugin of online subsystem utility and none so you can simply ignore this because it's going to be take it from by default so just wait until this uh, project has compiled and then let me show you okay so as you can see after a couple of minutes <laughs> right away so it's successfully packaged so you'll be see kind of like this kind of like logs once it's you know compiled done like this kind of like limited file you find that it will be compiled some this kind of like stuff and after that you find that build successful now click on done and now you can close your basically your editor and even your visual studio also now what you need to do is you can go to, uh, to your project and here you find a call folder save instead of that you find called stage build so you need to go there and here you find the windows server so now you don't need to do anything at here so simply make it as a zip something like that and just click on ok and just once you make the zip just send upload that to your drive or mega or dropbox or any other you know link wherever you want and once it's done just basically send us that file and once we say that okay your server is ready then you can basically test okay so let me just now update this to our server and then let me show you so i already installed the apk in my mobile so you can see probably this is the apk and now the first thing i want to show you that my network okay so in my home i i have Three different type of network so my this device is connected with tp link okay and my this device is basically connected with the deco okay so it's currently running on the deco so which is my another network okay so that is the main thing so if you want to test multiplayer actually a real dedicated multiplayer you have to use two different type of network so you can understand that okay is it working or not so because now I am in also in different network and my PC is in different network. Let me now open my game, which is in an Android. And let me also open the game in my PC. And let me just click the multiplayer and as we set up our blueprint. So just simply multiplayer and we are in a session. So at here, at the same thing, we will be going to click multiplayer and just wait some time. And boom, we are also in a session now. Now you will see that bro why are you this player i forget to set up the controller so i'm just keeping it something like that okay and let me just move our character to a chair and you can see this to here okay so how the multiplayer is working you can probably see right now okay so we are in a basically in a session which is basically a simple multiplayer okay so in this way you can basically easily create the multiplayer server with our TDS multiplayer plugin and multiplayer server. So while you're waiting, just <laughs> purchase right now. Okay. So let me, in the second part, we are going to do the matchmake and etc. Find session stuff.